I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and today I'd like to talk about Innocenti. Innocenti produced cars for around 50 years, but most people know the name only from the Lambretta scooters that they produced. Innocenti's most famous car is probably that of their Italian version of the Austin Mini Cooper. However, Innocenti produced a lot of BMC cars under what is called a complete knockdown kit, or CKD. That meant that cars like this Austin Healey Sprite were sent over to Italy as just a bare bones drivetrain and floor tub. Then Innocenti would take and put their own Italian body on top of them. And in fact, they used their own electric systems as well. Innocenti liked to improve on the Austin versions of the cars, not only making them more comfortable, but in a lot of times adding more features and making them better. The first Innocenti Spider, such as this one, is an important part of history. This car is the first car penned by famous designer Tom Tajarda. While at Ghia, Tom went on to design some of the world's most famous and beautiful cars. Shortly before his passing in 2007, Tom designed the Mustang Tajarda. So I'd like to take you on a tour of these cars and show you what the differences are. First up is my Austin Healey Bug-Eyed Sprite. This car has been equipped with all of the Healey options, which is the wire wheels, the front anti-sway bar, and the disc brakes. This one is also wearing a factory BMC hardtop. You can see that I have the side curtains in place right now. This car is extremely rare. It still wears the original rubber mat flooring. This rubber mat did not look like this when the car was found. It was able to be dyed back the original color and saved. Usually these are almost non-existent. There's very few cars in the world that still retain their rubber mat flooring. The Mark I Sprites do not have a trunk. And to access the trunk area, you must do that behind the seats. This makes accessing things such as the spare tire quite a chore as you must crawl back into a small space. Under the bonnet of these cars lies a 948cc A-series BMC engine. The derivatives of this engine were carried through all the Sprite line up through the Mark IV Sprites, as well as the Mark III midgets. The Innocenti 950 Spider features a drastic body change from the Bug-Eyed Sprite. Now you have to remember that these cars came out before any of the MG Midgets or Square Body Sprites did. This was kind of foretelling of what the future for the Sprite was going to be. Not only did this car feature a more squared off body, but it also featured half elliptic springs, the first for a Sprite. This car is fitted with an ultra rare factory original Innocenti hardtop. The top is removable and there is a soft top hiding behind that tonneau cover there. You can see the interior of the Innocenti Spider is much more luxurious than that of the Sprite. Even rarer than the original rubber mat flooring in the Bug-Eyed Sprite is an Innocenti Spider that retains its original rubber mat flooring. I believe my two examples of these cars to be some of the best in the world. Innocenti added an openable trunk lid to their version of the Sprite, as well as a hidden filler cap, which is secured inside of the trunk. Here you can see the original jack, spare tire, and this is the original air cleaner, which I do not have fitted at this moment. There's a lot more interior room in the Innocenti Spider than there is in the Mark I Sprite. I'll show you how that's accomplished later. These seats are completely different from those in the Mark I Sprite. A couple of the added luxury features are a dimmable mirror, as well as a courtesy light underneath the mirror that turns on when the door is opened. The hood on the Innocenti Spider is open from the inside, which means it is much more secure than that of the Mark I Sprite. The Innocenti also features roll-up windows rather than the side curtains used on the Mark I Sprite. Another luxury feature of these cars is that the convertible top is completely attached. Just remove the tonneau cover and pull up the soft top. Underneath the hood, you will see the same 948cc A-series engine that is used in the Mark I Sprite. You can see I have non-standard air cleaners fitted to this one at the moment. Although not different in any way from the engines used in the Mark I Sprites, the engines in the Innocenti Spiders started with their own prefix on the engine number. An interesting change that Innocenti made was using an Italian electrical system instead of that of the Lucas system. That meant you got a full array of fuses. 
And not only was the small electrical bits Italian instead of Lucas, they also featured Magneti Morelli starters and generators. Under the hood you also got a courtesy light that would be turned on and off with the switch when the hood was opened and shut. You can see on the inner fenders that squared section that is very prominent on the sprites. That shows you where the original bodywork was and the Italian bodywork began. Even the radiator is a special Italian version. Innocenti was able to get more interior room in the Spider by relocating the battery. Normally where you see the heater here, it would have a battery behind that. Innocenti has moved it off to the side. Everyone in the world is familiar with the famous Austin Mini Cooper S, but few know that Innocenti made their own version. Here you can see the interior, which features this famous gold brocade insert in the seats. This Austin Cooper S also has dual fuel tanks, an option on the Cooper S. The Mini Coopers also use a BMC A-Series engine, this time transversely mounted with a transmission attached underneath the engine where the oil pan would normally sit. Taking a look at the Innocenti Mini, not a lot has changed since the Austin version, although later versions of the Innocenti Mini did feature roll-up windows as well as a full array of gauges across the dashboard. Again, Innocenti used their own interiors. These seats are different from the BMC versions. You see the dashboard features Italian gauges. An Aston type gas cap was used and this car has a different exhaust from the Austin version. Under the hood of the Innocenti Mini, you can see an A-Series engine, this time marked Innocenti on the valve cover. If you want to see more videos like these, comment below and click subscribe.